This weather has been so cold lately. Oh my God, I know, it's such a pain. Yeah, it's been really bad. I've been driving my Volvo every day just because I don't want to get the R wet. It's been really rainy. No, I know, I just got a new Cherokee and the trim is like already starting to fade. Yeah, it's my- not black anymore. Yeah, my Volvo trim's like that too. Do we have anything for that? Um, we've got black trim restore, we've got trim coating. Um, all those products you can use to restore your trim, but I don't think we've ever done a video on it. We should totally do a video, that'd be a really good idea. Yeah, I think so too. Today, we're gonna to talk about the plastic trim on your modern vehicle. So when it comes to restoring, maintaining, and perfecting all of the black, plastic, and rubber trim on your vehicle, the first thing you're going to want to do is try to remove all the oxidation and get that rubber and plastic looking good again with the tire and rubber cleaner. Look at how much oxidation I just pulled out of this truck. This is after a wash. I know it doesn't say tire and trim cleaner, but it's really awesome at pulling oxidation off the plastic and the rubber. Once you do that, and before you move on to anything else, you're probably going to want to go ahead and use the coating prep. The PrEP is an alcohol-based spray, and what it does, it removes any chemical off of this to make sure we see exactly how much pigment there is in this plastic. This was looking really bad, but once we went ahead and used the ceramic trim coating, it turned it back to this dark, rich color. It beads water like crazy. This will keep the plastic trim from oxidizing besides making it look fantastic. This is all we needed because the plastic wasn't totally faded out and destroyed. Now, if your new vehicle looks perfect and all you want to do is make the plastic trim look a little bit darker, boom, VRT, vinyl rubber and trim, use it with a block sponge and the in and out spray. The in and out spray is what you use to get really hard to reach areas. Anywhere where it's really tough to reach with a sponge, use in and out spray. VRT has a high SPF rating and it's really good at being a UV blocker as well as making the dark plastic look rich new. However, you're gonna be reapplying that every three washes, maybe even every wash, depending on how much you like your black plastic looking perfectly rich and dark. You have to know that the VRT or the in and out both of those products are slippery to step on. On some vehicles, like this Toyota 4Runner, you actually lose the pigment. And if your vehicle has the pigment gone, the black trim restore is what you're gonna to need to restore the pigment to that plastic. You're gonna to need to use a couple of different coats on something that's lost this much pigment. So you're gonna lock in that nice dark shine that you'll get from the black trim restore with the ceramic trim coating. Now, no matter what you've got going on in your car, we've got the answers. You can email us tips at adamspolishes.com. You can call us 866-965-0400. You can go on adamsforums.com. We've got about 17,000 customers there participating every single day, it's crazy. But we also have a YouTube channel where we produce videos like this all the time. Thanks for watching.